fucking margaritas on a fucking Monday. Niggas know the fucking vibe, man. Game! Oh, yeah. You can fuck around and get your face fucked up. Mars, man. I'm your host, Nux. So, a lot of you have been asking me for an honest anime trailer on Bleach. The issue is, there is already an honest anime trailer for Bleach on YouTube, so I haven't been so excited to actually make one. I did start writing it before the original honest trailer came out, so I do have some stuff here. Not gonna waste it, of course. So, now, I'm going to make a video. Everything that's wrong with Bleach. I decided to do it more CinemaSin style, except they're not gonna be nitpicking every freaking detail, so it won't take, you know, 4800 <coughs> minutes or less. <coughs> Well, less. Let me know what you think after I'm done. Why is the series called Bleach? Naruto, the protagonist is Naruto. One Piece, they're searching for the One Piece. Fairy Tail, it's the name of their guild. Maybe they're doing it because they lose so much blood, they're going to have to use a shitload of bleach to get rid of the blood stains. But I'm not buying that. Speaking of, how the hell do they have so much blood? You say there are 10 pints in the human body. Well, this guy has 10 pints coming up at his shoulder right now. Speaking of, notice how they always get slashed on both shoulders, then chest, shallowly to avoid vital organs. And of course, there's lots of time to get cut up as each fight lasts about a dozen episodes. Especially where half of each episode is a recap of the last episode, where they talk about how strong they are more than they freaking prove it. When they finally do fight, they use Flash Step, an awesome technique, which teleports them around. Literally the lowest budget attack in anime. It's cool, they can even stand on air, but somehow they manage to fall through and that's required. Epic sword fight. with one sword weirder and more awesome than the last. But there is a freaking limit. Whether you guys no chance of winning, and to win they have to use this ultimate power-up, they always freaking sacrifice all their powers for a mega momentary boost. Somehow everyone has the ability to lose their powers forever to get really strong for a minute. They all also mm. manage to get them back, impossibly, and be stronger than before. Ichigo, the protagonist, has no drive unlike every other shogun and protagonist wandering from arc to arc. The only reason why he actually fights is because a different pair of boobs were captured every season. Mm -hmm. Sexes. Every protagonist has friends. And with, with the power of friendship, yada yada. Chad is terrible. Chad is terrible. <laughs> has none of that, mm. which is great, but it has the opposite. All of his friends are useless and don't beat a single, even semi-important foe. Chad is a 35-year-old massive Mexican high school student who literally beat one not useless. really important guy the entire series. Orihime, although she has retarded, barely explained powers that can reverse time, which she uses for nothing even though she said she could, she somehow doesn't. She also contributed more with sheer chest mass and her secret damsel in distress ability. Remember Uryu, the guy who was originally going to be Ichigo's rival, but was way weaker, who lost his powers for good to delay the inevitable, yet managed to get them back and possibly allowing him to shoot 150 Ooh. gajillion arrows a second, only to still be way weaker than Ichigo, and then lose his only decent fight against a decent foe to gay organ dude. <laughs> Con, a more pointless and perverted stuffed lion than in Camphor, if you get the reference to rats, but you're weird. Who manages to become the protagonist in history's worst filler superhero arc that made School Day seem like a good action romance fantasy, the filler arcs. A villain so smart, he planned out Ichigo's whole life, calculating each opponent that'll get Ichigo to the strongest he can be, only to be beaten by him. In other words, Aizen was beaten by his own strategy. Speaking of strategies, he's going to fight the full force Soul Society when he attacked Katakuta Town. He should have taken the hundred or so around cars he made to assure victory, leaving Ichigo and his friends in Waco Mundo with no way out. Instead of sacrificing nine tenths of the around cars and seventy percent of his espada for nothing. Luckily for him, though, the Soul Society was equally stupid, sending to Waco Mundo half of their captains. So it sort of even out. Fallout, damn it! What happened to the Keto Corpse in this, you know, little battle? To 70% of his espada for nothing. Luckily for him, though, the Soul Society was equally stupid, sending to Waco Mundo half of their captains. So it sort of evened out. Fallout, damn it! What happened to the Keto Corpse in this, you know, little battle to become God slash destroy the world? <laughs> One cannot physically drown in boobs. <coughs> 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 
Well, however, more research is required. Series does not contain a lap dance. All the power levels and consistencies are bogus. For example, Rukia, for all intents and purposes, Terrible. loses to a regular hollow in episode one, claims Menos is mega powerful a Useless. few episodes later, and the whole city goes on alert then. Without improvement, Rukia takes down zillions of Menos's 200 episodes later. Another example, Ichigo beats Kenpachi without his Bankai. Ichigo loses to Inui Toro with his Bankai and hollow form before Inui Toro even used his sword power, whatever they're called, for Arankars. Then Kampachi beat Inui Tora without having improved since his fight with Ichigo, and so on. So my sin count for Bleach was 30. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a great, great evening, and I will see you all next time. Please let me know if you want more of these everything. Not better than One Piece. That's the worst anime I've ever seen in my life. I tell you. I'm saying it's true. I tell you.